Hey guys, this is Thumper and uh, welcome to my new video. Today, it's gonna be different. I am in the ashram of Gandhi Ji, Mahatma Gandhi in Ahmedabad. I'll just give you a walk through of this place. The spirit of Mahatma Gandhi, shade of greenery, sound of chirping birds, calm of solemnity, reminders of the great Indian freedom struggle in the banks of River Sabamati. All these in a bustling city. The moment you step into it, the chaotic city turns into an island of peace. This is Sabarmati Ashram for you. The ashram is open throughout the year, open to public from 8.30 am to 6.30 pm every day. There's no entry fees. It's an ashram for Gandhi's sake. When you enter into the ashram, to your right side there's a clean toilet. If your bladder is full or small or whatever, you can take a leak there. And that is a cute little house. To the extreme right is a courtyard with a schoolish space behind the door. Out here, there's a lot of crafty stuff on display. It's all on sale, it's written. Well, I don't think that Enfield is on sale though. This trust building here has a lot of activities going on. Walls are covered with lots of quotations, definitions, drawings by kids, collages. There are people sitting around and making crafty stuff here. But this is a place where all the bhajans used to happen. Or maybe they still happen, I'm not quite sure. You can see the details of activities by Ashram Trust here. Rehabilitation, women and child empowerment, vocational training, lots of pictures about the various undertakings here. They make handloom clothing, artifacts, picture frames and all those crafty stuff. All those beautiful things can be bought in the small store here. Behind the ashram flows the Sabarmati river. The promenade was built a few years ago and is a great place for an evening stall. I'm not going in there now, it's pretty hot. There's a lot of youngsters hanging out here, taking selfies and chilling. And it's a weekday, they're probably bunking school. It's a big courtyard. It's really pleasant here, you know, even if it's sunny outside. Can you hear all the birds chirping? Lots of birds here. Ah, here's a bunch of squirrels having fun. Here's a portrait artist. I want to do mine, but it looks like there's a queue. Wow, he's doing a great job, man. And it's only 60 rupees? That's awesome. Next time for sure. Hridaya Kunch, the heart of the ashram where Gandhi lived with Kasturba. There's a volunteer sitting here, demonstrating the charka or the manual spinning wheel promoted by Gandhi as part of Swateshi or ingenious movement and self-sufficacy. It's wonderful to watch a blob of cotton transforming into a fine yarn. The charka here is very compact, wow! So this is the house in which Gandhi lived. Simple, nostalgic house with a small central courtyard and a creeper in the entrance. I can live here. The traditional roof makes it cool and pleasant even in hot summer. And here's a write up on the history of the house. You can pause the video and read it. Next here is the Upasana Mantir, the small prayer ground where the inmates listen to Gita, Quran, and Bible, after which Gandhi gave sermons. This is where the Satyagraha movement emanated. This is from where Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi helped rewrite the history of India and became Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi Sangrali. This is where the museum and all that are exhibits being housed. Now this is a profound perspective by Bertrand Russell about the non-violent moment, the other side of it, and a lot of quotes on Gandhi by other Lemon world leaders. The structure is pretty vast and open. My life is my message. This is the theme of the museum, which kind of have a Polish thing in the middle. Now this is what we call a badass postal address. Interesting, Mahatma Gandhi wherever he is. The great Ahimsa novel of India. Wow. After this, we move into the painting gallery, depicting lifelike paintings of events from Gandhiji's life. And a few sculptures too. Wow, swag! I've never seen Gandhi like this. And this is stark opposite here. Lot more quotations and we move to the library. This has got all of Gandhi's work as well as a lot of books on Gandhi and thoughts. You can also get a lot of memorabilia and souvenirs here. Now this is the mother of all photoshops. This is probably where India learned this skill. You should pause and read it. It's totally worth it. Now this is the exhibition hall with many of the old pictures, manuscripts, important documents, everything laminated and displayed here. You can walk around and you know learn more of these things. 
And we are ending the tour here with the artist replication of the great Dandi March or Salt Satyagraha. If you like the video, click thumbs up and share it. Do let me know what you think of the video by commenting below. And yes, subscribe to my channel. Click here, click here on the subscribe button. Now, 